Mga ate at mga kuya, welcome back to Kuya Puto's channel. Nandito tayo ngayon sa Kitchener, Ontario dahil we drive her sweet lover. I just dropped off Mises. She has some work stuff that she needed to do. So, I'm here in the car in front of a Costco. Dahil, you know, nagutom ako ng konti. Anyways, we have time to kill. So, gawa tayo ng video. So guys, lately, marami po nagtatanong kay Kuya Puto. Kuya Puto, how come yung mga videos nyo, Ang daming tinatamaan. Yung mga videos nyo, it's uh, masyadong controversial. Alam nyo guys, all I'm trying to do is raise awareness. Dahil marami po tayong mga toxic Filipino behaviors na embedded sa ugali natin. You know, we have a lot of things that we do that we're embarrassed of, that we don't want to say because baka merong masaktan or baka merong magalit sa atin but really deep down inside sa puso natin it's really bothering us and I just wanted to expose that I wanted to get that out of uh, people's hearts and and let them know that I feel the same too ako rin ganun pareho rin ang feeling ko so let's talk about it so ano ba pag-uusapan natin ngayon kuya puto so tama po ba na yung mga anak natin gawin nating retirement fund tama po ba na umasa tayo sa mga anak natin para sa pagtanda natin you know, lagay natin yung responsibilidad sa kanila para alagaan tayo yun po topic natin <laughs> so guys, it's no big secret na tayo mga Pilipino for the most part malapit po tayo sa mga magulang natin Okay. We would do everything and anything for our parents. Lalo na pagtanda nila. Ako nga eh, I'm not gonna lie to you. As long as I'm alive, I promise myself and my brothers and sister and my parents this. Hindi ko papayagan na yung parents ko mapunta sa old people's home. As long as I'm alive, I'm gonna do my very best to take care of them. Pero guys... My parents did not put that responsibility on me or my brothers or my sister. Okay? Kami po kusang loob ganun ng pakiramdam namin sa puso namin. Because it's just, just how we are. Pero guys, paano? Kung katulad ng ibang magulang dyan, inuobliga yung mga anak nila. If anything, they're treating their kids as their retirement fund. Tama ba yun? Sa akin, mali. <laughs> Alam niyo guys kung bakit mali yun? Kasalanan ba ng mga anak natin na pinanganak sila? Sino ba nagplano nun? Di ba tayo? So ba't natin ibibigay yung obligasyon tsaka responsibility sa kanila para alagaan tayo pag tumanda tayo? Di ba responsibility natin yun? Sipin niyo guys, they did not ask to be born. It was our doing. Tayo gumawa nung kasama ng mga asawa natin. You know? Bakit nga ba nag-aanak tayo? Di ba nag-anak tayo, nagpamilya tayo because... We want these many versions of us to be better than us? Isn't that the goal of why we have children, why we raise children? So, bakit natin ilalagay yung responsibilidad na yun sa likuran nila? But magiging mag... Ano tawag dun? But magiging pabigat pa tayo. Di ba mali naman yun, guys? Sipin nyo. Yung pong Diyos. I hate talking about God, but... Yung pong Diyos. You know, binigyan tayo anywhere between 75 to 100 years on average to live dito sa planetang to. Hindi pa ba sapat yung oras na yun so us parents can figure it out, make something of our lives spiritually, physically, mentally, financially. That way, pag tumanda tayo, hindi tayo aasa kahit kanino. Isipin nyo guys, a lot of people say, that's a short time, 75 to 100 years. But realistically, that's a long time. Okay? Do something. Like, use that time wisely. Dahil, we only got one shot at it, di ba? As parents, magtrabaho tayo. Para umasenso tayo. Let's do the hard work. Let's do the smart work. Let's do everything and anything that we need to do. Let's hustle. Okay? Hanggang malakas tayo. To make that money. You know, keep us healthy. That way, one day, pagtanda natin, wala tayong inaasahan kundi sarili natin or at least you know 
Kung mag-asawa kayo kayo yung dalawa, di ba? You help each other. Dito tatamaan niyo maraming tao. Meron po mga Pinoy dyan. Hindi lang Pinoy, ibang lahi din. Mag-aanak na mag-aanak. Like 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 kids. Katwiran nila. You know what? One day, pagtanda ko, sila mag-aalaga sa akin. Maling attitude po yun. That's, uh, I believe, one of the toxic Filipino behaviors that got passed down generation after generation sa atin that we desperately, and I mean desperately, need to get rid of. Because, paano nga asenso yung mga anak natin, guys? Paano nga asenso yung pamilya natin kung magiging pabigat tayo? Let them spread their wings and fly. Let them explore. Let them enjoy life. Let them figure it out. Let them stand on their own two feet. If anything, tayo ang maggabay sa kanila. You know, let's be the, the ones to push them towards success. Let us be the crutch. That way they can stand and eventually run on their own two legs. We don't want to be the reason why they're not successful. We don't want to be the reason why they can't accomplish any of the goals in life that they want, dapat ni tayo nagbabara. Dali iba pong mga tao, sila yung bara. You know, sila yung nagiging bara between their kids and the success that they want to reach. Because, pabigat. Mali po yun. Mga atit, mga kuya, wag na wag natin bigyan ng guilt trip yung mga anak natin. Wag natin itanim sa utak nila. Hoy, malaki utang mo sa akin. <laughs> Dali pinalaki kita gasta ko, hirap ko lahat ng ginawa ko para sa'yo utang yun huwag natin palabasin na ganun dahil hindi ganun hindi nila kasalanan na pinanganak sila okay? lahat po yun responsibilidad natin as parents because we brought them into this world so wag na wag nyo bibigyan ng guilt trip yun isipin nyo guys paano pang nagkapamilya na yung mga anak natin yung mga asawa na yun okay? ano sasabihin nun sa asawa niya if naging pabiga tayo baka tayo pa maging rason kung bakit ma-divorce yung anak natin do, you, do we want that really? di natin gusto yon guys so habang nandito tayo habang malakas tayo magtrabaho tayo gawin po natin lahat ng kailangan natin gawin as parents para pagdating ng araw wala tayong aasahan you know that responsibility is not on their heads di ba? let them uh, enjoy life let them explore let them do whatever it is that they need to do to get to where they need to be. And kung kailangan nila ng tulong, let's be present. Instead of the ones that holds them down, let's be the ones that push them forward para ma-attain nila yung mga gusto nila sa buhay. Because ultimately, that's what we want, di ba? You know, ba't pa ba tayo nag-anak? Of course, para makita natin yung mga mini, mga mini versions ng sarili natin to become way better than us, di ba? Way better versions of us. And in order for that to happen, wag tayong maging pabigat. Like hopefully, pagtanda natin, if you're in a country like Canada, pension nyo, ipon ninyo, investments ninyo, lahat ng pinagtrabahuhan ninyo, hopefully that's enough. That's hopefully enough para mabuhay ng husto hanggang uh, Makita natin si San Pedro. <laughs> Pagtanda natin, one day, kung magpresenta yung mga anak natin, sasabihin, Pa, Ma, kami na bahala dyan. Pa, Ma, magtira na kayo kasama namin. Pa, Ma, sige, ako bahala sa inyo. Kaya mo sila magpresenta. Then ayos, maganda yun. Pero, kahit sila magpresenta guys, Sabihin na lang natin sa kanila. Thank you very much for thinking about us. Thank you very much for caring and loving us. But we're good. Inan dapat mangyari. That is the ideal situation. And I guarantee you, hanggang mamatay tayo, magiging napakamalapit sa atin ng mga anak natin. Because alam nila, di tayo naging pabigat sa kanila. So sana naman guys, di kayo natamaan <laughs> alam ko these are the things na nasa puso ng maraming tao maraming Pinoy pero hindi nila gustong ilabas hindi nila gustong i-vocalize because they don't want to hurt the feelings of the people that we love 
but sometimes topics like this needs to be said needs to be discussed that way you know you're not alone that there are many people out there feeling the same thing and it's the exact type of behavior that we need to get rid of para yung second generation yung mga anak natin they become way better than us they become more successful than us so guys this is Kuya Puto join me on the next video wishing you good night good morning good afternoon wherever you are in the world stay hungry stay humble keep your hustle strong it's a no Sa akin, kung sino ang aking mahal